Ciao a tutti e bentornati al mio canale. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how I learned to speak Italian. Now before we go anywhere, let me be clear, <laughs> I do not speak Italian very well. If I were to do this whole video in Italian, which some people have asked me for, Marcello, you would just grimace at all of my very poor Italian. <laughs> but I can write decently and I can understand and be understood speaking on a computer. If you only know me from my art, you might not know that I speak Italian. And if you only know me from my Italian group, you might not know that I make art. So, hey everybody! I've always wanted to learn to speak Italian. I went to Italy when I was 15 and I really fell in love. And ever since then, I've always wanted to learn the language. I really like learning languages, so learning Italian for me always made a lot of sense. And about two years ago, it might, might be going on, I think we're going on three years, I started to learn Italian. Hi, Suko. I picked up an app called Duolingo. Duolingo is an app that you can get on your Android or iPhone, and you can learn a whole bunch of different languages on it. I started using the app all the time, and I had a background in learning Romance languages. I had studied French in school, I had studied Spanish, so I knew how the languages were structured, which made it a whole lot easier for me. About a year into my learning Italian, I found this great set of audiobooks um, done by Michelle Thomas. Sorry about the wind. Some people don't like his voice. <laughs> Some people don't like his accent, but for me, I found it tremendously helpful. I found it really helpful in learning how to put a sentence together myself without having to Google everything because that was my life. And around that same time, decided that I wanted to find a group on Facebook to learn Italian. And I looked up Duolingo groups and there was Duolingo Spanish, German, but there was no Duolingo Italian. So I decided I'm just gonna start a Facebook group, whatever. Well, my group, because I had the name Duolingo in it, it's Duolingo Italian Learners, in case you're interested. Because I had the name Duolingo in it, it attracted quite a few people. Apparently I wasn't the only one who really wanted a group for Italian. I found an Italian lady who is amazing, and we have been like inseparable friends ever since. She lives in Rome. Ciao Valceria! And every day we spoke together. She was learning English, I was learning Italian, we both had really great senses of humor, she understood my love for Italian swear words, and so we've been really great friends. And it's been probably the most helpful thing that I've ever done for helping me learn Italian. It gave me a reason to want to learn more, so I can understand better what she's saying. So, you might be wondering, well, how do I learn to speak the language that I want to learn. Well, I mean, start. If you check out Duolingo, it might be for you, it might not be for you. It's not a cure-all. It's not the answer to all of your language learning problems. There is still a whole lot that you need to do. Learning a new language takes a really long time and you have to give yourself a lot of patience. Piano, piano, slowly, slowly, you have to just slowly work away at it and not worry about where you are. Just work on communicating better and, you know, just relax and, and have fun. Don't take it so seriously. It is a fun thing to do. It is fun to learn to speak with other people. I've spoke to people in Russia and our common language is Italian. How cool is that? So, you know, enjoy that. Don't be so rigid with things. I would say try other areas if you think that you might want to try Michel Thomas. His audiobooks are really expensive, so I do not condone downloading them illegally. That would be wrong. Try other ways. Try, my, my best advice, try finding a friend. Learn how to put sentences together. Make mistakes. Join groups that will help you learn your language. And then, like, say things that are your own words coming out of your head. You know, use Google Translator. If that's the only way that you can speak another language is through Google Translator, then do that until you learn a little better. Find out what you're having problems with. Maybe it's that you can't conjugate. Maybe it's that you don't understand gender. Maybe it's all of the things. Then find one thing to focus on and work on, work on that one thing. Always keep trying. If you hit a roadblock and you just stop, then that's not how you learn a language. You have to be patient. If that's something that interests you, 
I think that you're probably already sold. Or you're probably already learning a language anyway. I think that it's nice to have a life that is full of lots of different interests. And this is one of mine. So yeah, tell me about other things that you like to do down in the comments below. I would love to hear it. I will see you tomorrow. I hope that you've been enjoying my daily vlogs. If you would like to, go ahead and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment in the doobly-doo. Tell me what you're interested in doing. Do you like languages? Do you like other things? Photography? What is it? What is your thing? And until then, I will see you tomorrow. Parlo l'italiano. Male. Molto male. Mi dispiace Marcello. Non parlo molto bene. Lo so, lo so, devo studiare di più. Allora, a dopo.